Imagine having no control over the biggest day of your life, your wedding day. I'm already starting to feel a bit nervous. Or worse, that all control has been given to your mother. Uh, I don't know about all that. Or even more outrageous, your mother-in-law. I don't think we know what we're getting ourselves into. This is Gina Sole, wedding planner extraordinaire. I love it, I love it. She creates stunning weddings for her clients. I need 500 by Friday. Her standards are high, and she demands and gets the best for her client's big day. Meet Pamela and Kevin. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand over full control of your wedding day to one of your mothers. That's just crazy. Yeah. I'm serious, I'm tough, and I'm dependable. I'm a big kid at heart, what can I say? <laughs> Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a complete nightmare? Definitely not. If you don't yeah. like it, don't come. I didn't ask all this business was going on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done. Like, I am done. It's going to be a disaster. Pamela and Kevin are hot and heavily in love. Our relationship started pretty much in the gym. I was her personal trainer. I paid him with kisses. I hope he wasn't training anybody else for kisses oh. at the same time. I know from her 100% that she loves me and me only. And um, she has a great sense of humor. And uh, she's very caring, very understanding, supports me 100%. And um, she puts up with my crap. <laughs> yeah, very attractive. He loves all of my quirks and goods and bads and he treats me like his princess. He just wants to make sure that I'm happy all the time. I proposed to Pam Christmas morning at 12 a.m. There was like tea lights everywhere and it was so romantic and cheesy. How can I exist without your kiss? Oh, I never felt like this. Recently, romance has taken a back seat to reality. I'm a hairstylist by day. I'm pursuing a music career on the side. Uh, I'm, so bad. I'm an inventor of a one-of-a-kind jacket. It's uh, very busy, very, a lot of meetings. We're pursuing our careers and our dreams. There's like no way that we could plan a wedding right now. Absolutely not. I'm here to meet Pam and Kevin. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my terms. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I hear you want to get married, but you don't have time to plan the wedding. Definitely not. I'm here to make your wedding happen. Really? Mm hmm But there is one condition. And what is that? You have to hand over full control of your wedding day, and I mean everything. The wedding decor, the dress, to one of your mothers. Excuse me? You can't pick the dress, you can't pick the flowers, you can't pick the place, nothing. Your mom couldn't even plan a birthday party. She can't plan a wedding. I don't think so. Your mom doesn't really know fun. Pam and Kevin, I need your answer now. I mean, it is odd, but we don't really have time. I know, I have no time Are you at ready all. to do this? Sure. I guess. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Now let's get you married. I feel like my mom could do a good job. Doing I it? feel that my mom could do a better job, to be honest with you. They really seem a little leery about giving control to either one mom or the other. Introducing the moms. Pamela's mom, Donna, is young at heart and in attitude. Donna, Donna, Donna. I'm super spontaneous and outgoing. Donna! My life is all about my kids, my friends. OK, come on, you guys, ice cream. Uh, my family and fun. Finally, machine away. I love Here, it. Give me one. Skittles? What does it look like? <laughs> I mean, she could be a little bit wild, but she cares about her kids. Her kids are like number one. A little bit wild? But she's fun. Ah! Really out there. I'm a big kid at heart. What can I say? <laughs> Donna's definitely one of those wild childs. Like, uh, I can't believe that's your mom. Like, whoa. I'm not married. I'm a single mom. My mom is like a super dater. Wow. Hi, Donna. Hi. Looking gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. So what do you think about my chair? Do you like it? Do you think it's sexy? <laughs> I thought, wow, that would go with my cat, which is in the bedroom. 
Kevin's mom, Paulette, is a strong, hot-blooded woman from Guyana. I'm serious, I'm tough, and I'm dependable. She's a beast. My mom, Paulette, is the only Guyanese woman right now that's jogging in the streets in February. She's very protective of her three sons. Too protective of her sons. Paulette can be up in our relationship a little bit too much. Wow. With in-laws, opposites don't always attract. I know Paulette. She's very tough and very disciplined. I find I'm more serious with stuff than Donna is. We don't really get along that well. Donna is like a big kid. Sticky. She's so hardcore. She runs in the middle of winter, and she's from a tropical country. Donna could not even find Guyana in a map. Guyana? I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know Geography aside, it's the wedding day that matters. I see it very like um, modern, fun, young, like how we are. I would love very much for it to be a traditional wedding. It's going to be a high-end masquerade party. And it has to be a uh, rum cake. I don't like it. It's sticky and it smells. I want to have a cupcake cake oh. with little masks all around the cupcakes. No. <sighs> I would like to see Pam in a nice fitted, off shoulder, nice, puffy, flowing dress. For Pam's dress, it's going to be part masquerade, part beach. It's going to be mermaid style and super tight fitting. The most important thing for me is that we have this wedding in Guyana. I don't want Pam to fly to Guyana. I don't want a Guyanese wedding, and I don't even know what a Guyanese wedding is. Guyana is where I'm from. I was born there. I want a Guyanese wedding, so we're going to have a Guyanese wedding, whether you like it or not. It's not happening. We're not having Guyanese wedding, Guyanese food, nothing. It's time for Gina to lay down some rules for this family to follow. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. I will present both visions to the couple. Only one mom's vision will be chosen, and this part is key. The losing mom will have to be the winning mom's assistant. I got no problem with that, providing that she can agree with what I want to do. That's if you win. It's Good all luck. about organization and getting it right. I'll pray for you. Keep it for yourself. Paulette could obviously turn out to be the perfect planner, but Donna may be this hidden artist. I don't think we know what we're getting ourselves into. If Donna were to win, it would be a total disaster. Paulette's going to be my assistant because Paulette's really boring and I'm a lot of fun. I'm going to win this wedding. Coming up with an inspired wedding plan in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever decision Pam and Kevin make, they're going to have to live with it for the rest of their lives. If my mom, Donna, did this wedding, I can see just wild, crazy, like... Meow! <laughs> open bar dancers and fire shows, like, exactly. out of the box. Yep. This one's for Kevin, and this one's for Pam. You said the wedding was, like, a beach theme? Mm, a masquerade beach theme. The weirdest wedding ever, like, crazy. With my mom, Paulette, it's probably going to be very organized, very traditional. I'm looking for something Guyanese that represents my wedding vision. Mm, maybe boring. Very cultured. The drum, for instance. OK, I found my biggest drum. It drums from both sides. It's nice and loud, good for parties. Yeah, I don't know. No, I'm not afraid it's going to be boring, because I know it's going to be exciting, because that's what our culture is all about. Right. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thanks for your help. Good Bye. luck with the wedding. Time's up, and the moms have to lay it on the line for Gina. My vision for the wedding is going to be a masquerade beach party wedding. Masquerade Ma beach party wedding. Yeah. My vision for the wedding is a traditional Guyanese wedding. The most important thing is that the wedding happened in Guyana. I want to have a lot of fun. So we're going to have um, a Sunday bar with ice creams. OK. Our tradition for weddings is bright colors. Imagine a candy bar, a lot of colors, a lot of sweets. OK. Do you like a candy? Oh, I'm good for now. Thank you. I'm going to have one, OK? Go. Mm, one more. <laughs> also, the big thing, too, it's the mobby back. Hmm. You boil it, and then it's strained and sweetened with uh, brown sugar. So that would be like a cocktail at the wedding? Yeah. We're going to have nice sundresses for the beach. It's just fun sundresses on the beach with masks. Yes. This is one of our national flowers. With the flowers, we like to use other bright colors with it, too. Out of these other flowers that we can put to this to do in the bouquet. So this would be the part of the wedding, too. Some Sand on the beach, of course. Love that. Uh, with some parrot, a parrot there. This parrot? Well, just inspiration. 
Yeah. Okay. Did you ha have this in your home? Uh, yeah, he just sits out in the mantle. On the mantle? Yes. Her dress, of course, would be elegant, nice, puffy, flowing white, and some gold accessory at the top and on the dress. I have pinatas all over the place. I always like a church wedding. Okay. This is going to be the mask for the groom. I'll show you. Okay. That's for the groom. The bride's mask. Do you like it? Oh, uh, all right. Let's see what else you have. Oh, no live music. I'm going to have a DJ. I don't want a DJ. I want drums. Fun, 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 fun. That's all we're going to have. Fun, fun. <laughs> I think I got it. So some of the negatives. Uh, I think there's a reason why no one does a masquerade beach wedding. OK. <laughs> because I think it's a lot. Guyana, where is it? How far would it be for people to travel? It's about an eight hour flight. That could cut down on the guest list considerably. If I can go in and sort of make it the best of the best pieces that you have. Thank you. Um, and maybe take a few pieces out. Gina, I really want it to be a masquerade wedding on a beach. Uh, I don't want to compromise my vision. So. And I'm here to help you. I want to help you. Give me some time to figure out, you know, what I could do to sort of make this whole masquerade beach theme work together. OK, that's fair. I have a traditional rum cake and cupcakes and ice cream cones. I have tree bark uh, and I have lollipops. I'm baffled. I'm the right mom to pull this off because I'm going to create the best, the most funnest wedding ever. I know I can make it fun and enjoyable and a rememberable moment for everybody. I think that there's a possibility that these kids aren't going to like either pitch. Pamela and Kevin arrive to see what their moms have come up with and choose a wedding winner. Are you ready to see what your wedding could be? Definitely. Let's do it. Unknown to the couple, both their moms are backstage watching and listening. Oh, wow. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Whoa. <laughs> are you ready for presentation number one? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Let's do it. <laughs> that looked like if it's a kid party, and even a kid party do better than that. It's fun. <laughs> it's like a fun, colorful fiesta. <laughs> Donna's vision is a tropical masquerade beach party. How are we going to have a masquerade party and a beach party at the same time? This is totally confusing. You, you got to decide what you want. You can have it together all at once. That's totally miss. You'd be getting married in a tropical destination. The ceremony and reception would take place on the beach. Nice. Moms would wear flirty summer dresses. Pam, your wedding gown. Tight-fitted mermaid dress. Guests could wear flip-flops. There will be no traditional wedding cake at this wedding. What, are we going to have chocolate bars? Donna is envisioning a Sunday bar and a candy bar. Lots and lots of sweets. Make your own Sundays. That's so fun. Wow, the kids are going to love this. Now, since Donna's theme is a masquerade party, she would love to see the guests wearing Mardi Gras masks. It's fun. It's creative. My mom is nuts. There will be a DJ at this wedding. No live band. Well, that's a plus. I really like the fact that it's on a beach. That's, that's amazing. I also really like the fact that you would be wearing a mermaid dress, so that should be very hot. But everything else, it looks like a 12-year-old's wedding. Take the feathers out. Take all the candies out. You need cake and real food there. Are you ready for presentation number two? Please. I, I oh, don't know. Please. I don't I'll know. something much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get okay, let's, 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 let's just go. <laughs> Paulette's vision is a traditional Guyanese wedding. You would be traveling to Guyana. Hell no. I don't even know where Guyana is. A traditional black rum cake. Traditional Guyanese drumming. We can't have an entire wedding with just drums playing. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Non-alcoholic drinks at the wedding? No alcohol on my wedding day? What? Bye. You don't got to get drunk to have fun. The wedding will take place in a traditional Guyanese church. Lots and lots of candles, very elegant, very formal. Pam, your dress. More of a princess-style dress, a very full skirt. 
I would like to make his mom happy and find something that I would like in it. I think you have a big decision to make. Clearly. Yeah, they're no not gonna, the kids gonna no, pick No, they're not going to pick your vision They ain't going to pick yours either. And I'll be back in a few minutes to get your decision. Boy. Paulette and Donna can no longer listen in, while Pamela and Kevin decide on which vision and mother will win. Could you honestly see us doing this? Seriously. You could be like, good evening, guests. Would you like a virgin daiquiri? Before <laughs> <laughs> we play the drums for ya. It's kind of tropical like the other one. Let's not even talk about the other one. This is so fun. It's like youthful, Feed you, you know? some friggin' worms? Yeah, like... I would eat this. These are like my favorite. Look at this crap. Feathers, well, mask. I mean, it's not ideal either, but... I'm a grown-ass man. I don't give a boat. 12-year-old fun. At least my dress won't be this big, like, princess poofy gown. Here you could see my, like, shape. Wait, what, a mask on your face? We have to pick something. <sighs> Pam and Kevin, have you made your decision? Well, we decided to go... Wait, don't tell me. Tell your moms. Your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. <laughs> Sorry. Let your moms know who you've decided on. Oh well, hmm. we have decided to go with the... Beach theme. Yeah! <laughs> I just can't believe I won. I'm very disappointed. I'm not like... Oh, my God. I prayed for this moment. <clears throat> Did you pray? No. There you go. Mom, you know I love you, but... I feel real hurt about this. Then I got to go back and tell the family that I didn't win, and I don't even think I want to come. Oh. My mom was so disappointed. Honestly, I didn't even know... I want to say sorry to her. Congratulations, Donna. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy. <laughs> My god, I can't believe this is great. Remember, the couple chose your vision, so it's important that that's what you deliver. I will. And Paulette, you're Donna's wedding assistant. You're going to help her pull her vision together. All right, moms, we've got one week to plan this wedding. Let's get to work. Paulette lost, I won, and she's gonna have to do what I say. She is crazy, Donna, it's crazy. It's like, give her one drink and that's the end of the wedding. It's gonna be World War III. Hey, that's really cool. Honestly, I'm just, I'm just saying. You'll be able just, to do it. It's gonna be a disaster. It won't. I just know it. Nah, it won't. With the wedding countdown on, Donna and her assistant, Paulette, begin with the dress. Okay, I'm gonna have to blindfold you, so... You can't be serious. Honestly, Mom, do we have to do this? Yes, we do. Oh, baby, this is gonna be great. Oh, look at you. You're gonna be beautiful. Do you want any water or anything? I want a miracle. Pamela is blindfolded. She picked her mom's vision, so Donna will pick her dress. Okay, hold on to that one. The last time my mom dressed me, I was about five wearing leggings with a mullet. Oh, this one's very elegant. Look at this. Not feeling anything for them. Doesn't matter. These are the dresses we're going to try on her, and you're going to go along with it. I'm not happy with being done as assistant. Follow me. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. Oh, my poor son. Oh, my gosh. So what do you think? Does she look beautiful? Do you like it? Mm. Not what I would have picked. It's her style, I think. This is what you really want for, for Pam. Yeah, this is what I want. I love it. It's beautiful. I want to be picking no, up for my daughter. this is perfect for her. It looks so plain, so... Just, there's, there's nothing, absolutely nothing to that dress. Mom, I mean, are you sure? Like, everything that Paulette is saying, it seems like this is a disaster and she hates it. Forget about her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I'm trusting you. Seriously. Pam, I got more dresses to try on. Come on, baby, let's go. The dresses that Donna is choosing for Pam, I just find those dresses just too plain. They're too simple. There should be something more. It's your wedding. Come on. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Look. What is this dress? 
I can tell them by the, the expression on your face. I love it. I love no. it. If you Just... see a really nice dress, I don't know what you would do with yourself because I don't find nothing excited about that. I don't care what you say. I love this dress. Look, it's perfect. But you said the same thing it's, about the it's first absolutely one. Absolutely stunning. How can you not like this? It's beautiful. What do you think? I mean... They're just going to beat you and get married in any kind of dress? Okay, guys. Forget about her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I love this dress so much. I really much. like how this one feels, Mom. No way. You couldn't get me right nothing. This is a perfect dress for a beach. See? Oh, it's soft My and chubby. My son got to stand up beside her. There's pictures going to no, be taken. Go you away. Expect. You know what? I had enough of this. I'm going to go pick a dress. OK, this is a good dress. Let's put her in this. I'm not crazy about Paulette right now, to be honest. She makes terrible choices. Put the dress back. I've made my decision. Wearing this blindfold is the perfect way to look at this wedding. Scoot! It's pretty nerve-wracking. We're supposed to be working together, but it ain't happening. There's no teamwork in there at all. There's no way her negative attitude is going to get in my way. Donna demands her beach vision be realized. She takes Paulette shopping for dresses fit for a seaside wedding. Here, this is the one for you. That's... I don't like it, though. That woman got no sense of style. Look at that. The colors are perfect. Don't push it up on me. I don't like it. What about this? No. I don't, the colors aren't right. I don't find anything right about these, neither. What about this? No. Is there ever any pleasing you with anything? OK, how about this one? No. If he's so shut down, so pushed out by Donna. She's not agreeing with anything I say or do. This is supposed to be fun. I want you to work with me. I got no problem with you telling me what to wear, but I got to like it. I don't know why she's being a pain in the butt. Let's just go try the dresses on. I just love it. It's definitely not me. Don't like it. I'm ready. How do you look? Like crap, because this is not me. I feel like if I'm going to work. <laughs> we have at least three more to try on. Whatever. It's so blue. <laughs> This is the worst idea you ever had. Two more dresses. Paulette, are you coming out? No, I am not. Ah, oh, this is the one. This is it. Oh, yeah, that's the one for you. I don't know. OK, we'll oh, see. I don't know. I love it. It's like, look at that. I'm happy with my decision to make you wear this dress. Look at that. I'm assisting a crazy woman, and I don't know what's going to be happening with this wedding. All I know is I look hot in my dress, she looks hot in hers. we got to move on. i got a million things to do. Masks are key to Donna's masquerade beach wedding. She drags her assistant to select wedding day disguises. How much you need? I need six for the groomsmen and six for the bridesmaids. Oh, good luck. Do you expect my son and his friends to wear these masks? I do. I'll make sure you don't get any for me, because I sure ain't going to be wearing that. Hmm. I never thought that they would have come and I had to stand up and watch my kid look like a clown with these. This is a masquerade wedding, so yeah. if you don't like it, tough. She's not into having fun. Find something that you're going to be oh. happy in. This is natural, and that's what I want. and miserable. I ain't doing it. A mask, I'm not me. It's like I'm covering up something, like I'm hiding something, and I got nothing to hide. Do you like that? No. You wear it. it suits you, not me. Whether you like it or not, you're going to be wearing it at the wedding. I don't have to wear anything that I don't want to be wearing. No, no, no. I hate being forced to do oh, things that I don't want to do. Stop whining. And I'm just getting tired of being told that I'm going to have to wear this mask. Let's find you a mirror here. Are you out of your mind? You think I'm going to be wearing this? She's got to accept my vision. I won, and she's my assistant. I don't want to be a, an assistant, because it's like I, I'm just being second to it, and I don't want to be second. This, this is gonna... one thing I am not wearing. You are. Listen, let's get this straight. It ain't happening. I am not wearing it. Definitely not. If you don't happening. like it, don't come. You know what? Listen. You keep that. I thought this was going to be a lot of fun, but it's turning out to be a total nightmare. I am not going to be a part of this. I can't convince her. Gina? Yeah? I am done with this. It's like, it's not happening. I'm not happy at all, and I'm totally finished with this wedding stuff, because I am not pleased with it. OK, Paulette, I need you to calm down. I have a solution. I'm going to email you an address. I want you to meet me there tomorrow. Will you bring Donna? Yes, I would. OK, fine. 
Okay, Paulette, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. The moms are stalemated. With no other options, Donna goes along with Paulette to meet with Gina. I'm really upset that Paulette called Gina, and I don't understand what we're doing in this house. At this point, these moms are clearly not able to find any common ground. Thanks for meeting me here. Paulette, I got your call. What's going on? I don't like the, the mass. I don't want to be covered up. She doesn't like any of it. Okay. She, she's not cooperating at all. We have a destination wedding in two days. Paulette, I need you to be the person that organizes this wedding that makes sure it happens. Yes, it's Donna's vision, but I need you to deliver that vision. Donna wants to have a masquerade party on the beach, and that's what we're going to give her. But we really, really need you on board. If you don't want to wear the mask, you do not have to wear the mask for the wedding. OK. Bring the mask, though. Okay. Because I think that you may feel left out in the end. OK, I have no problem with that. Second, you don't have to wear the dress that Donna picked out for you. OK. And Paulette, you get one more thing. We will have a traditional Guyanese rum cake at the wedding. I love it. <laughs> this is your responsibility. And when we get to the island, you're going to have to make the wedding cake. OK. All right. Donna, are you OK with this? Not, I'm not happy about any of it. I, I'm pretty sure I can do this on my own. I, I don't need her help. I need you two to work together, or this wedding isn't going to happen. We need her. OK. I thought it was going to be up to me to plan the wedding. Donna's been in control up until this point, and nothing's been done. We have so much to do. I'm going to be the executive assistant. Now there is going to be a wedding. The reason I called you here today is to meet my pastry chef friend. Hello, Paulette. Nice to meet you. And Me Donna, too. our mother of the bride. Hello. Hello, Donna. Nice to meet you. I'm going to leave you with Amelia. She's going to teach you how to make an amazing rum cake for the wedding. OK. OK, play nice. When you're the assistant, it's easy to whine and complain. But now that I'm giving Paulette some responsibility, let's see how she does. Whatever. I want you to do the work. OK. I'm just going to supervise, OK? OK. Yeah, OK, please. Is this guy? Yeah. OK. Yeah, that's good. This is the key ingredient. Without the rum and the wine, you don't have rum cake. OK. OK. I'm loving this. You're doing good. I'm having the best time making this cake. What's next? OK, the next is we're going to puree our fruits. I can smell the aroma of the rum yes, and the fruit. Yes, it's awesome. I would like you to break some, um, break some eggs for me. Oh, no, thank you. You know, we are all team. It's OK. No, I, I'm not a part of this. We'll get it done without her. Okay. Something she wanted to do. Excuse so. me, OK. Please. OK. Thank you. OK. OK, so do I put the butter in first or rub the butter? I didn't want to have a rum cake because it wasn't in my vision. It's gross, it's bitter, and, and it's really strong tasting. And I wanted everything to be colorful and fun. OK, it's hot. Leave it on the rack. Let me get you a plate. Mm -mm. Mm. This is heavenly. I'm really tense, being that I've never made a rum cake before, but I intend to give it my all. That's, I guess that's all I can do. Pamela, a professional hairdresser, brings Kevin to her salon to tidy him up before the flight. I'm here to check in on Pam and Kevin. I want to make sure that A, they're OK, and B, they're on that plane. Are we in a happy place? No. No, not me. Not at all. We don't know what we're getting into when we get there. Are we going to enter into a colorful disaster? You promised me you're going to take care of this, and we have our moms at each other's throats. Kevin, your mom was upset. Obviously, she didn't win. And now she has to be Donna's assistant, so it was tough. But um, they're, they're back in a happy place. So we need you to get there, too. We can try our best, but all we can think about right now is like the disaster and not knowing what to expect. Come on, you guys. I mean, snap out of it. We're going to a tropical island. We're trying, Dude, we're trying, we're trying. What is the issue? Just the fear, a mask? you know? Yeah, I guess so. I will take care of this. <sighs> Trust her. OK. Everyone has arrived and is getting acquainted with island time. Hi, Paulette. Hi, Gina. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Good. You're so nice and relaxed. Yes, I'm enjoying every bit of it. Where is everyone? 
Kevin and Pam is over in the water over there, and Donna is somewhere up, somewhere back there. On the slide? Yeah, on the slide. Hi, Dana! Hi, Hi. Donna! Oh, it's gonna be an interesting two days, Paula. Very interesting. Gina's given them the rest of the day off, but tomorrow, it's go time. The time crunch is on. Gina and Donna check out the beach location for the ceremony. Donna, just focus for one minute, okay? Take this in. I need you to look at me. This is a risk. It's beautiful, yes, I know, it's beautiful. But we could do something indoors that's all windows that would no, show this no, perfectly. No. We can take the chance. More than likely, it'll be the perfect day. You don't want to check it out? Do you even no, want to look? No, no, this is the perfect place. This is what I wanted. 90 degree heat, possible rain, ice cream bar melting, guests in masks sweating. Perfect. It's gonna be fun! All right, come on, yeah. more planning, more planning. We have more planning to do. Donna is like a child. She just will not listen to what I'm telling her. I know Gina has concerns about the wedding, but, um, and the masquerade and the ice cream, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be perfect. Paulette really needs to become the executive assistant. We need her now. What is she doing? She just sit in there. Just imagine, we got a wedding. Donna, if you want to be giving out these masks to this wedding, you need to get crack and get up. Let's go take them. This was your idea, but it's mass business. No okay. time to relax. Come Can on. I bring my drink? Yes, bring it, whatever. Okay. Just get going. Come on, come on. Gee whiz. My main, main goal is to see that this wedding go on in time. Room 305. What do you think about the one with the feathers? Right now, I don't really give a darn. Just put the thing on and let's go. Got to kind of get it going a little faster because we got quite a few to do. Let's get going. Time is going. I am going to make it happen. To keep the details a surprise, the wedding rehearsal will go on without the bride and groom. Donna, bring the next girl down, right in front. Turn around right in front, in front of her. Donna, tell her nice and slow. Right in front, in front, in front. Oh my goodness, this is really happening. How's this look? Wonderful. Girls, move up just a little bit. You're happy? I'm happy, satisfied. I'm starting to feel like a real wedding planner. Where are you putting a mask? Where are you having ice cream cone or whatever? I think it's all ridiculous. Okay, guys, this is where we need you to be tomorrow. Good job, guys. I should have just stayed home because this is a total mess. The couple meet up with the guests at the rehearsal party. Looks good. Fortunately, I got to sweet too. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yes. I didn't get one of Yeah, I'm gonna need about five or six more rum punches. Hi dear, what are you doing? How is everything going? I'm getting some drinks, some rum punches for my peoples. I'm still not kind of sure with this masquerade thing going on with mask and ice cream and all this heat. Am I gonna be happy? I don't think so. Well, you know what? Maybe I should have these drinks to myself. Kevin needs to know that this whole thing is crazy. He needs to get a little sense of what he's walking into because it's downright ridiculous. Well, Pam and I would like to thank you guys for coming out. We just want to say that we're really appreciative that you came and I don't want to cry, so. And she's crying <laughs> already. We don't know what's happening. Like, we just love you and. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Have some drinks. <laughs> Gina arrives to join the party, but the couple want to discuss their wedding woes. I can't wear the mask I'm, for the ceremony. I'm not wearing the mask for the ceremony. No way. I get that you don't love the masquerade ball, but it was the vision that you chose. You have to wear the masks. I wear can't the mask. wear, the mask. wear the mask. when and where? For the ceremony. I'm going to walk in and see my wife-to-be in a mask. That's like a lasting impression, like, forever. I got married to a mask, a costume no, junkie. It's, honestly, it can't happen. It's not going to happen. OK. I'm going to compromise. You can wear the masks walking down the aisle. When you get to the front, you can take the masks off. That's, the, oh my that's God. not really a compromise. <laughs> you won't have to wear them throughout the whole ceremony, which is what Donna wanted. Your mother's crazy. This is her vision. You guys chose it. This is the way we have to go. You will take the mask off, ma'am, when you get down to the front, OK? Enjoy yourselves. We're get back to the party. Alrighty. You know it's your fault, right? 
It's your crazy ass mother. The big day is here, and it's finally time for Pamela to see her dress. Now listen to me and listen good. When you see you get in there, you get her in that dress, you got an hour, because there's a lot of things to do downstairs. The venue still gotta be happening, and I need you downstairs. Okay. So get on in there and do your stuff, and don't keep me waiting. Okay, check. Okay, honey, open your eyes. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I really like it. Okay, don't cry, it's okay. It's now hitting me like I'm actually getting married. The dress made it feel official. It just feels like real now, I just... It's like reality. I'm getting married today. <laughs> Honey, it looks so beautiful. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's you. It shows your shape. It's it's gorgeous. Look at it. I mean, it's. I look very curvaceous, like a diva, glam squad. It's gonna look magnificent with a mask. It's gonna ruin it with a mask. <laughs> with less than two hours left, Paulette borrows the resort's kitchen to try her hand at rum cake. It's very important to me for the rum cake to be perfect. God, I'm running out of time, I'm running out of time. This doesn't look anything like the like a, what a rum cake's supposed to look like. Not at all. I'm a little worried because this is the only cake we have for this wedding. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, my goodness. And I'm running out of time. Gina sets the stage for the ceremony. It's only two people walking down the aisle at a time. Hi, Paulette. Hi, Gina. Uh, where's Donna? She's not here. I haven't seen her. So what's going on? I need your help now. Okay, okay. I'll look for Donna. Okay. See the reception area right there? Okay. There's bags of stuff. You'll okay. see where they go. Could you start that? Sure. And I'm gonna finish this. Okay, good. Thank I'll you. I'll look for Donna. Okay. Paulette's been working with Donna constantly. She left for one afternoon to do the rum cake, came back, and Donna was nowhere to be found. Oh my god, nothing hasn't been done. What's going on? She was. I just left to go, see what the cake, get my dress on, and I come back and it's a disaster. Things are not done. Oh my God. Hi. I've had it. Nothing is done. Look at this place. So I mean, what? like, um, oh, you mean so what? Okay, I'll get it. You together. wanted all this, right? I didn't ask all this business was going on. Look, I end up hey, with this spill in the Hey, I'm sorry. I'll clean it up. Clean it up, get the things fixed. I'm done. Like, I am done. Why is everyone freaking out on me? Donna, let's go. Oh, we gotta set up. Speakers are up, lanterns, chairs are out, ashes tied in knots. No time. Come on, Donna. That one's okay. We have people coming into the ceremony now. Ready or not, it's time for the wedding to begin. And everyone puts on their masks. Well, almost. Here comes the bride, mask in place. Pam and Kevin, you're here to give yourselves to each other. So Kevin, you need to get something. <laughs> How's the ring? Not in there? Did you give it to me? The ring? I didn't box you up. We have a problem. He's lying! Ah! <laughs> give him the box. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Take you, Pam. Take you, Pam. 
To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy as well as in sorrow. In joy as well as in sorrow. For as long. For as long. As we both shall live. As we both shall live. <laughs> I, Pam. I, Pam. Take you, Kevin. Take you, Kevin. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. <laughs> and to cherish you. And cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Richards. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, well, my note to Kevin says, <coughs> Kevin, my husband and best friend, I promise to give you my 100% and nothing less forever. I love you forever. XO, 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 Penny. Kevin and Pam forever. These are my words to stay together. God, love, faith, family, communications, unity, happiness, positive and trust. To my lovely wife, letting you know faith brought us together and love will keep us together. Kevin. He is mushy. Vows spoken, dusk settled in, bring on the party, island style. This is it. Let's introduce Mr. Kevin and Mrs. Pamela Richards. Where's our lovely mothers? <laughs> Me and Kevin just want to say from the bottom of our hearts how happy we are that you guys went through all of this. And we love you. Well, everyone's enjoying themselves. We had their beach wedding. It was Donna's vision. It was Donna's vision realized. It was great. I loved it. I mean, the, I just, the beach, the view was amazing. Could have been better. The masks were great. I just couldn't get with the mask because it's something I just didn't like. I still hold out that I didn't want to wear. The dress is gorgeous. When I started coming down the aisle, I was like, this is my queen. I just, it was, I was stunned. Everybody loved my Sunday bar. It just blew my mind. Even though Paulette and Donna are two completely different people, it worked. Sometimes when you do things different, it's nice. They don't always got to be the same traditional way. Changes are nice. You did a great part, too. <laughs> Donna did a good job, didn't she? Yeah, she pulled it off this yes. time. And now for Paulette's rum cake debut. Yeah, bite of yeah. mm. It's so good. You did an awesome job. Mm, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a masquerade feather gumball party on the beach. How did I ever not do this before? <laughs> <laughs> 